Hi, welcome everyone. Thanks for joining our webinar today on Move to Modern Accounting. Uh, this is co-hosted by Octane and Blackline. I'm Amendra. I'm, I'm the Managing Director for Octane Software Solutions. Uh, let me give you a bit more background about Octane. Octane started in 2016, as, as some of you might know, that uh, I, I was in Macquarie and looking after the business intelligence application and resigned and started Octane at the back end of 2016. We started off with a partner, uh, IBM partnership and set up our shop in Sydney. In 2017, we moved uh, we, our back office to India and now we have three offices in India. We also started uh, uh, sort of looking after our first clients in India as well, as well as setting up our training center. 2018 saw IBM giving us uh, uh, IBM Silver Partnership, which, which was quite a proud moment for us. We had also moved into the managed services area and also set up an uh, office in Canberra to look after the government clients that we had at that time. 2019 saw us moving more into a global uh, operations. We, we started looking, uh, we started uh, looking after clients in UAE. We had set up a shop in Dubai and also in Fiji. 2020 obviously is a very interesting year for most of us. Um, however, the most uh, exciting thing that has happened to us is that we managed to attain our Black Line partnership. And that's what we're going to focus on today. Octane, in a nutshell, we, we, we are partnering up with three vendors at the moment, Blackline, IBM, and Modla. We have a total of seven offices. We were meant to open two more offices this year, uh, but obviously due to COVID, that, that is been put on hold. We have more than 40 plus certified consultants and uh, we have delivered more than 100 projects globally to, to, our, to our clients. Why Octane? What is the Octane Boost? Uh, one of the key things about Octane is that we provide an end-to-end managed service solution. So we, we have the expertise to do the consulting, development, support, and one of our fastest growing areas at the moment is training. So all the applications and the uh, delivery that we do, we also provide uh, detailed training on that. And, and that is uh, well appreciated by the clients at the moment. Um, let's talk a bit more about why our partnership with Blackline. So Octane traditionally has been working with the Office of Finance. So we work closely with the CFOs and we architect and deliver their corporate performance management applications. Partnering up with Blackline means that we are able to talk to the same uh, clients and the same stakeholders that we currently have about automating their back end, their financial close, the accounting automation, the back office of the accounting uh, operation and assist them in, in bringing them into the new world. Why Blackline? Blackline is, 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 is a leader uh, in its field. It, it is in the uh, leader quadrant in the Gartner as well. It has more than 3,000 customers, operates in over 130 countries. Uh, the, the, the cool thing about Blackline and Octane is, is that our both our strategies are well aligned. We, we, we strive to deliver business efficiency. We strive to provide modern technology. Blackline has been the best in class in financial close management, uh, accounting automation, intercompany governance. The other thing that, that uh, sort of motivated us to accelerate our partnership with Blackline was that we see a big disruption coming. We've already seen uh, uh, quite a bit of disruption so far this year, but what we also know is that whenever things open up after post-COVID, things will be different. And we have hedged our bets that Blackline is the technology that most of the companies would have to adapt 
to bring them into the new world. So I'll hand over to Joe Damien from Blackline. These are some of the clients that we currently deal with. Joe has been with Blackline for a couple of years and he's even prior to working for Blackline, he, he has been uh, using the application. I'll let him talk a lot, a bit more about himself and go through the presentation today. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Amandra. Can you hear me? One minute. Yep. All right, I'm going to just share my, yeah, I think you can, um, I think you can see my, my screen. Yes, we can. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, can you, okay, perfect. So you can hear me well and then you can see my screen. So we're good to go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just bear with me a second. All right. So good morning, everyone. and. Thank you so much for making the time today. It is very much appreciated. I know how everyone is busy. Um, so I hope you know that the time we're going to spend together is going to be rewarding for all of you. Um, I think we've got about an hour together. So my presentation is going to go for about 35 minutes. Uh, and then probably after that, we, uh, we can open it up for some questions and answers if you would like to. Um, so before we get started, I'd just like to um, quickly introduce myself. Again, thank you, Amandra, for this collaboration. Uh, very much appreciated. So my name is Joe Damien, and I'm a customer success manager here at Blackline. Now, I'll, I'll talk about the customer success function in a moment, uh, but really today I'm glad that we have a chance to, uh, to connect. Um, so I'm a finance professional. And uh, I've been practicing, you know, finance for about 15 years now. Um, so I've had stints in, um, in the Middle East, in the state of Qatar. Um, I've worked in Dubai and I've worked in, in Nigeria, which is one of the biggest economies in Africa. Um, and I've started, uh, obviously, my career as, as a management accountant and, and, and grew up the ladder to, to a controller's position. And um, the interesting thing is that, you know, I've, I've, I've done accountancy from all different angles, whether it's management accountancy or financial accountancy, whether it's business partnering or being a controller or um, a finance business partner. So I really uh, have been in the shoes of, of accountants for quite some time. Now, again, you know, our, our industry is, is quite competitive and uh, obviously there are a lot of standards. We have to, you know, um, stay ahead of that level of knowledge. And therefore, you know, I decided to get on with my uh, MBA just to get the, um, the global perspective. Um, so I've earned my MBA from the University of Manchester in England. Um, and obviously, as an accountant, we'll have to uh, be equipped with the CPA and uh, I've gotten my CMA as well. So, um, so basically, you know, uh, equipping myself with all the required knowledge to be able to, you know, excel on the job and, uh, you know, help organizations prosper. Now, um, a couple of interesting things is that before joining Blackline, um, in my current capacity, I have been a Blackline user for about eight years. So I've worked for Kimberly Clark in the capacity of um, uh, business accounting manager. That's where I was introduced to Blackline. And after that, I worked as a finance manager for Kelly Services and I've used Blackline as well. So, um, so this combination really uh, makes me very comfortable and at ease with, uh, you know, talking to uh, our customers and uh, potential customers. Um, the other thing that I would like to introduce to you is uh, the customer success function at Blackline. And, and really, as the, uh, the title entails, uh, so we've got the customer at the center of what we do. Um, and uh, from, from a success perspective, we really want the customer to uh, you know, stay with Blackline, um, enjoy the experience. Um, really get what they have invested uh, and looked forward to from, uh, you know, time perspective, from efficiencies perspective, visibility, and all what it 
comes to when you know getting um, on a platform like the Black Lines platform. Um, and so um, what we do from customer success is that we, um, we, we are the advocates basically on the platform or what we would like to be called as the trusted advisors. So we do coaching to customers. Uh, we do business reviews, success reviews, and that's just to ensure you know, that the customer is, uh, is moving along um, the journey, um, getting the most out of Blackline, um, you know, feeling embraced, um, feeling supported by by the teams, and obviously, you know, we provide uh, touch points um, at different intervals uh, within, you know, a year or a journey with um, with with the platform. So um, again, thank you very much for making the time today. And um, what we'll be talking about uh, in, in in this presentation is how manual accounting creates roadblocks really that have far reaching implications and uh, the necessity to make a move into modern accounting, especially with the fast paced technological trends and the new normal under the pandemic. Um, and what you'll find out is that Blackline can partner with you uh, to achieve a quick and successful transition whilst staying focused on your strategic objectives. Now, I'd like to start by the very emerging trend in the finance and accounting world, which is digital transformation that is really at the top of CFO's minds. Now, CFO's are viewing it as the way to solve their problems going forward and help people become those proactive business partners. And why is that? Well, finance transformation will provide uh, finance and accounting teams the opportunity to become strategists and change agents. That is why at this point, for virtually all the companies out there, digital transformation is the way forward. And really ignoring it is not an option. Now we will circle back towards the end of this presentation and reflect how the COVID-19 new normal affected this trend. But um, before that, Let's level set, come to the realization that uh, manual accounting processes are one of the top frustrations of every accountant. The repetitive work, the endless spreadsheets, and the late nights at month end. In fact, in a study published by Gartner, it was observed that finance and accounting practitioners still have significant room for improvement. Um, with really the deep penetration by spreadsheets and the manual accounting that invariably goes with it. So if there is one thing we can likely all agree on, it is the fact that traditional manual accounting processes are just not sustainable. It is because the modern business environment is more demanding than ever on accounting. There is more compliance and regulatory oversight, more business model changes from digital disruption, and more demand for analytics and business partnering. In fact, manual accounting drains too many resources, takes too much time, and creates increasing risk and exposure. Accounting is often problematic for companies doing it the way it has always been done. It is not sustainable because it tends to be chaotic and it has time constraints. Why is that? Well, let's break it down. From staff accountants to controllers and CFOs, you have a lot of different people involved across various, often inconsistent processes. Now, these processes are made harder by the fragmented technology and disconnected data, either from multiple ERPs or subledgers or banks and other sources. And that will require extensive use of spreadsheets and a huge amount of manual repetitive work. Furthermore, this means communicating updates and progress with a lot of meetings and back and forth on phone calls, on emails and instant messenger. And that would drain time and raise the chances of something really getting missed.
And so with every accounting department we speak to, often manual accounting is really what keeps the lights on for meeting the regulatory and compliance requirements. But as new regulations come down, they will consume an increasing share of your team. And of course, reporting requirements are diverse and complex as well. So if you look at the world of traditional accounting today, while accounting standards dictate the rules of accountancy, accounting departments determine the processes and tools to use to accomplish that. And let's be honest, the tool accountants use most is Excel. Now, did you know that spreadsheet technology is 40 years old? Actually, the paper-based documentation and binder system is a lot older than that. And coordinating it all by email is a generation behind modern collaboration. Now, all of these tools and processes are fragmented into silos. They are error-prone, and they are all heavily dependent on manual, laborious work by your accountants. And all of, as we all know, with accountancy and meeting those deadlines, it's often a mess of people, technology, process, regulatory, and reporting and communication, and all held together by manual processes. So let me ask you a few questions. What do you think are the biggest sinkholes in your current manual accounting processes? And what is it costing you in terms of time, risk, and opportunity cost? How much work are you doing that you don't have to, or really shouldn't be doing? Given how manual and disconnected this process is, what kind of errors might this be leading to? How much time is really wasted chasing down information and sign-offs? And when you have to go back and look for information and documents, can you find them? Where and how are you spending your time? So what, if, what would you do if you had more time? What should you do if you had more time? Now we know that manual accounting is not sustainable, but really it boils down to why? Well, firstly, it takes too long. Manual effort is the number one bottleneck in the financial close process, according to the Hackett Group. And per the American Productivity and Quality Center, top performers close in half the time versus the bottom performers. Now, here are a few reflective questions to consider. Are you using your time most effectively? Do you know how everyone on your team is using their time? Is repetitive work limiting your ability to focus on high risk areas or other strategic initiatives? In fact, more than five days typically separate top performers from those at the bottom end of performance. And I can tell you from experience that I have witnessed and lived that firsthand. I've worked for organizations that really had very laborious and detailed manual processes. And I've worked for organizations of the likes of Kimberly Clark that have been really on the, on the pathway to modern accounting and I've seen the difference. And you know, the, uh, the five days that we talk about generally, it translates to a working week where accountants could be identifying exceptions and variances to flush out further accounting or business risk or work on meeting new regulatory rules or answering questions from business teams. And again, it also costs financial planning and analysis too, because those guys, they must wait longer to get a set of financial results. So they can begin planning, forecasting, analyzing and modeling in as early as possible. So where can teams recoup the time in the close? Well, based on PwC's client engagements, they found the two key areas where teams can cut time by about 30 to 40%. They are finance automation and behavior change. In other words, applying the latest technology 
and rethinking process to get the most out of it. The second reason why manual accounting is not sustainable, it is because it is risky. In a survey of more than 1,000 finance and accounting professionals, 55% of finance leaders are not completely confident they can identify financial errors before reporting results. That same survey found nearly 70% claiming their organization has made a significant business decision on inaccurate financial data. And 40% are expecting to spend more on compliance as complexity grows with new regulations and more data. Now consider this. Are you confident you identify errors in a timely manner? Have you ever wished you had more time for more thorough reviews? And how many late adjustments did you make, say, for example, last month or last quarter or the end of last year? In another recent survey of over 1,100 C-level executives and finance professionals worldwide, 55% shared that they are not entirely confident they can identify financial errors before reporting results. And nearly 70% of leaders said they had made a significant business decision based on inaccurate financials. Worryingly, with those closest to the process, in other words, the finance professionals, just 38% saying they trusted the numbers. Now, the reasons were manifold. Of those that didn't trust the numbers, 41% blamed manual data inputting and 56% highlighted the issues of no automated controls and checks of labor intensive data extract processes and spreadsheet sprout. However, beyond financial statement inaccuracy, processes that are too reliant on human intervention also raise the specter of fraud. In fact, spreadsheets are one of the biggest sources of errors. Well, a simple question is the why. Well, one of the reasons is that they are so heavily manual. And again, from experience in my prior life, I know how many formulas get embedded in an Excel workbook. I know the links to so many other spreadsheets. And I know how if we don't get all those updated you know, simultaneously, then we are very much prone to error. The other reason why manual accounting is not sustainable is because it is expensive. Bottom performers spend upwards of three times more versus top performers on the finance and accounting function due to employing armies for low value, inefficient work. And that is twice as much as median companies. Now consider this, how much budget is being allotted to accounting for new headcount this year with the pandemic and with the new normal? Well, what about next year or the next three years? We know that budget is tied for back office functions. So if you could have a more efficient team, could you better reward those who drive your success? Now, with a high degree of labor intensive accounting, reducing the cost of accounting operations is an almost impossible proposition. Physical data extracts, spreadsheets, manual adjustments, and data entry take a heavy toll on, on efficiency because they often serve as the glue that connects accounting processes across a vast array of systems, whether they are the ERPs, the subledgers and other sources like banking, credit cards, payment processing across multiple entities. And there's plenty of low hanging fruit to cut core accounting related costs with nearly 50% of US companies still reconciling manually. Again, manual processes can also have another detrimental effect, reducing employee engagement, lowering productivity, and therefore 
employee morale cannot be ignored. And I've witnessed that with the many teams that I've managed. Now, here are some stunning results of a survey conducted by Gallup. 34% of an employee's productivity is lost when actively disengaged. That's effectively throwing away about one third of every $10,000 in salary. Gallup also found that one in six of the average organization's employees are actively disengaged. Now, nobody wants to think their team is disengaged, but let's think about what causes this engagement. Could it be working through a painful close each month? Could it be extreme spikes and troughs in workload or completing manual, repetitive, monotonous tasks? And how might this impact morale really? In an online survey, Hackett revealed that the biggest drivers behind accounting dissatisfaction and disengagement were uneven workloads and overtime, invariably working on tedious processes that really could be automated. One more thing, the inability to attract or retain accounting talent due to lack of job satisfaction creates substantial operational risk. So the challenges of traditional accounting processes are clear. They take too long. They unnecessarily introduce risk. They are costing your business too much money and they are negatively affecting the morale of your team. Again, from staff accountants to controllers and CFOs, the traditional way of getting accounting work done causes pain for everyone. Too many disparate systems prevent you from seeing where you stand in the close. Non-uniform processes lead to a control risk Detail-heavy spreadsheets increase the likelihood of mistakes, escalating your risk of financial inaccuracy. Manual effort keeps your team spending a disproportionate amount of time on work that is repetitive, whereby there's no enough time for analytical activities that they really want to dig their teeth into. Now, taken together, this creates a disengaged workforce, threatening your ability to retain and attract top talent. Hey, but you're not alone here. We in Blackline, we've seen this at more than 3,000 companies. It is important to note that it is not that traditional accounting processes are broken. In fact, they've just failed to modernize. So how do we address all that? Well, there's a better way to work, and it is modern accounting. Now, modern accounting has three pillars. Modern accounting is unified, automated, and continuous. Let's look at each of these pillars in greater detail. Modern accounting is unified, meaning integrating your systems and data for a single source of truth, standardizing your processes for consistency, efficiency, and control, creating visibility into the status, progress, and outcomes of accounting operations. Taken together, it means creating financial context, telling the financial story by turning data into information. Modern accounting is automated. You can reduce the time spent on what you might characterize as busy work by automating your manual repetitive activities. You can free your team to focus on higher value activity, such as analysis and explanation of exceptions and variances. And then thereon, you'll be allowed to focus on the strategic objectives that matter most to the business. And modern accounting is continuous. 
You can execute accounting as it happens at the speed of business. You can deliver real-time information and analysis to inform business decisions. You'll be aligned with the needs of your business and you will be the business partner that you know and want the accounting team to be. Finally, the good news is that modern accounting is achievable. You can get there quickly. You can see powerful results immediately and companies are, are embracing it for transformational outcomes. And what is great is that with Blackline, modern accounting can be closer than you think. Let's cross the bridge together. So Blackline fills the white space that exists in the middle of your record to report process that is traditionally left to spreadsheets. Who we are? We are an ERP and data agnostic tool and we can pull information from your key data sources. Without disrupting your current finance tech stack, Blackline acts as a complementary solution to your general ledger, picking up where your systems typically leave you to work in spreadsheets. Think account reconciliations, closed checklists, high volume ticking and tying, and journal entries. Blackline will help you substantiate your balance sheet accounts perform flux analysis, automate high volume reconciliations, and mitigate risks to ensure integrity. In fact, Blackline can help you complete accounting work better, faster, and with more control. But, and this is really important now, you could buy technology from anyone. Blackline is more than just our technology. We believe what sets us apart is our collaborative accounting experience. In fact, key ways to cut manual accounting. Let's start with the first five. Auto-certify reconciliations. In other words, save time by using automation to auto-certify up to 85% of your accounts each month. Automate data extracts by using connectors to ERPs, subledgers, and other systems to feed accounting processes. Reduce time waiting on closed tasks. You can centralize closed tasks and dependencies into an online checklist for visibility and collaboration. Automatch transactions. Use AI to automate detail-heavy reconciliations, such as bank cracks, credit cards, intercompany transactions, and invoice to point of sale. And what is what we mean by AI here is artificial intelligence. So within Blackline, we've got RPA enabled and we've got AI enabled. The fifth one is automate journal entry posting. So you can create and post validated journals automatically based on matched transactions. And here are the next five key ways. Use a task workflow, whereby you can automatically send and track approvals based on thresholds, exceptions, or any other dependency to cut the weight. Centralize support detail. Auto-attach all supporting documentation related to a given journal and reconciliation in a cloud store. Identify exceptions automatically by using variance rules that accurately detect material fluctuations and routes issues to control owners. Shift to auditor self-service. And this is very important in this day and age, especially you know with the teams working remotely, whereby you can enable auditors to log in and access reconciliations and supporting detail. And finally, streamline intercompany processes. And again, from experience, intercompany is one of those areas that really accountants spend a lot of time on. So with Blackline, you can centralize and reconcile intercompany transactions and balances across currencies, business units, and geographies.
So let's take a moment and see how it works in the real world. Well, modern accounting makes a difference. It enables organizations to shift to higher value work to drive business outcomes. For example, Coca-Cola Global Finance Operations Division managed more than 50,000 GL accounts across many systems and different reconciliation processes. But they were able to cut manual accounting work by 55% after implementing Blackline. And they've reassigned nearly 500 employees to exceptions, analysis, and other projects instead of routine tasks. Domino's. Here we're talking about the US Domino's company, knowing that uh, Domino's Australia is a customer of Blackline. Now, Domino's is a company that embraces digital transformation at every level of their business. They automatically reconcile every credit card transaction for all its locations and franchisees. They are now doing work they could not do in the past, ensuring faster payment and even helping payment providers find problems in their processes. Now, Domino's took an operational approach here, proactively identifying and addressing problems in credit card payments before they become issues for accounting to research and explain. And really, it is worth Googling Domino's digital transformation to see maybe the best case study in embrace, in embracing digital transformation for competitive advantage. Actually, in the last 10 years, their stock price has risen 3,400%, believe it or not. So two very different companies who were able to do accounting work better, faster, and with more control. But in fact, it is not just companies who benefit from our tool. With Upwork, which is the largest global freelancing website on the net, noting that the ability to use Blackline is one of the top 10 paying skills for workers across all professions. Now, companies and users all do this with Blackline's accounting cloud. Let's get more practical here and see how it really works. Substantiation. In other words, you can automate the repetitive activities associated with reconciling balance sheet accounts to underlying schedules, documentation, and source systems. And keep in mind that it is just one repository cloud-based where all that is stored. So if we talk about, you know, balance sheet reconciliations, you can think of reconciling cash to bank or AP and AR reconciliations. And to give you an example here, if you have a GL balance, an AP or AR GL balance with black line, you can bring in the sub ledger balance. And with our auto certification rules, if the criteria are met, then the reconciliation is gonna auto certify provided the GL balance is matching the sub ledger balance. And think of intercompany reconciliations and the many chaotic manual work that entails reconciling them. So generally, you can think of you know, a sub-ledger to GL as an example, or any other supporting document that really substantiate a GL balance. Think high volume transactions, reconcile multiple data sources to quickly identify unmatched transactions and to enable corrective action. So with that, you will really get rid of the rainbow spreadsheets. And I've been there when you use conditional formatting with colors and formulas to be able you know, to tick and tie and reconcile two data sources. And a couple of use cases that come to mind are credit cards to points of sales, GL balance to the bank statement, or probably, you know, your payroll data to your GL data. So we've got hundreds of case studies and hundreds of use cases when it comes to transaction matching. And for SAP specific customers, you can think of open item management.
Think automatic journal entries, whereby you can bring your manual journal entries to the digital age by creating recurring automated and or standardized entries. So with Blackline, you'll be able to templatize journal entries and create recurring entries. Whilst at the same time, you will have a standardized journal entry list and all that is automated and on real time. Think month variance analysis. You can view trends, identify material changes, and develop supporting documentation and explanations. Now, the beauty with Blackline is that you're not only reconcile, you're not only basically doing a flux analysis on your profit and loss. You can work out the balance sheet fluctuations. You can set the expected balances versus the actuals. You can cover your profit and loss, your equity accounts, any other fluctuations that you would like to you know, uh, monitor continuously throughout the month. It doesn't have to be toward month end. It can be at any point of time during the month. And again, you know, from past experience, I've seen it firsthand when, you know, mistakes are made because probably, you know, wrong formulas or probably bringing in the wrong balances or probably omitting a balance from here or there. So with Blackline, it's all standardized. It's all documented. You can refer to it at any point of time. Think whereby you can create a to-do list with visibility and workflows. For example, you know, to cover your monthly accounting tasks or to cover your internal or external audit prepared by client lists or any types of controls for US companies, it could be the Sarbanes Oxley controls or your recurring processes like you know, lodging your tax returns. So Blacklines Accounting Cloud, a platform for unified, automated, and continuous accounting. So the Blackline Accounting Cloud supports activities not managed by your ERP, but are really critical for business stakeholders and their performance analysis, their planning, and decision-making. We help companies manage the financial close. We help companies automate accounting processes. We help companies ensure intercompany governance. We help companies unify systems and data for a single source of truth that helps tell a complete financial story through our secure integration layer. We help companies automate repetitive manual work to enable higher value work that makes better use of human intelligence for decision making. We help companies build accuracy, control and consistency into every process and ensure compliance with widespread financial controls. We help companies drive accountability through visibility with reporting and dashboards. Now you can see how modern accounting can be realized by bringing financial close and accounting processes together in one place. Moreover, and this is very interesting, you will be part of the Blackline community. But guidance is not just from Blackline here, because you will also join that global community of expertise. So we have more than 75 certified alliance partners like EY, Deloitte, KPMG, and many other who can coach you to redesign your accounting processes to fully maximize our software. You will also join more than 277,000 other users who are on this journey too. And you'll be able to connect with them through the Blackline community, online training via Blackline U, and our best practices summits and events around the world. And finally, we are committed to your success. So Blackline was the pioneer and is the leader in this market. Every one of our more than 1,100 employees is committed to modern accounting. We are 100% dedicated to delivering financial close and accounting automation solutions. And that's for all our customers today and for you tomorrow. We've helped customers of all sizes across every industry embrace modern accounting. Actually, we are committed 
to have wildly happy customers and have a customer retention rate of 98%, which speaks to the benefit we provide to our customers. And this is something the customer success team is very proud of. So you can trust Blackline because we are a truly global organization. And we have helped more than 3,000 customers and over 50% of the Fortune 50 companies make the move to modern accounting by enabling them to do accounting work better, faster, and with more control. Now, as a publicly traded company, we intimately know the importance of financial accuracy and have built our company for sustainable success. In other words, we will be here to support your modern accounting journey for the long haul. We have been recognized by Gartner as a leader in our category four years in a row. And this is the, their highest ranking possible when assessing vendors. In fact, per Gartner, Blackline is in the highest quartile for customer experience and overall product capabilities. And Nucleus Research has identified that Blackline's customers realize a return on investment of 2.67 times their spend on our cloud accounting platform. Now, having said all that, we know that change is scary. Change management is honestly one of the biggest hurdles to be addressed, but traditional accounting is not sustainable. So educating yourself further on our software is certainly a worthwhile investment of your time. So what does success look like when you cut the manual accounting? You will transition to modern accounting to focus more on data analysis, on business partnering, on investigating variances, on reducing risk, and on digital transformation. Blackline is your foundation for modern accounting. In other words, we help companies like yours stop doing work they shouldn't be doing, avoid errors they shouldn't be making, and better use their time. Now we know this is a journey and we believe and the industry has acknowledged that we are the market leading company to take you there. So back to where we started, what do you think the pandemic has caused? It is the same trend, but at a much more accelerated pace. With that, here are some thought-provoking questions that if answered will pave the way for a sustained and holistic approach to automation. Is automation a visible and prominent part of your corporate strategy and operational plan? Are you thinking boldly enough with a vision of how to improve a process and the customer experience? Have you picked the right processes to automate? How will you persuade the business to embrace automation and change behavior. I hope you found this presentation useful and interesting, and I sincerely thank you for making the time. Over to you, Amandra. Thank you very much. Thank you, Joe. That, that was really good. Thank you, everyone, for attending. If, if you have a question, please, please drop it in in the questions section or the Q&A section and, and we will answer it. With this, we'll close this webinar. The recording will be available and if any one of you or your colleagues uh, need to access the recording, uh, do let me know and, and we'll organize it. Otherwise, you should get the recording in the email shortly. Thank you all once again and we'll catch up again.